So now, uh, so when we understand what is the what is the SDG and what is its targets, uh, we need to define the priorities. So basically, we are talking about the strategic planning uh, of uh, this particular SDG. So to do so. Uh, one of the things that we need to uh, work on it, so as a as a company member, so it's kind of the principal prioritization for uh, this particular SDG. Uh, so to, it has a two entry point. The first entry point is a risk uh, and reflection of the risk to people and environment. And second point is so the first, for the first point is actually you going to contribute in a way that the potential and actual negative impacts also is going to be reported at least to your company to yourself in order to see what's 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 wrong with the company and then also you uh, think about the beneficial product services and investment that you can make it as a positive side to people and environment so all of this principle prioritization is designed to help companies to align their a strategy plan, their efforts, and then uh, this allocation of uh, resources to a uh, particular SDG of number nine, which is industrial innovation infrastructure. It depends on the which type of company we are talking about. If we are talking about a software transfer company like a, a, a company today, so maybe some of the some of the um, uh, targets are not relevant, but some of some others relevant. Uh, but if, if you are talking about a big energy company, maybe it's going to be different. And also, uh, what is, uh, is necessary is that uh, avoiding cherry picking and uh, SDG, SDG washing, as I said. So, uh, cherry picking means that in a, in a way that, okay, you are not going to choose the easiest way or easiest priority among the priorities, because you are, you are, you are, uh, you you are basically allowed to choose anything, so you are not going to, if you have a some higher, uh, highest uh, priority, and if you are going to choose just the easiest one, so basically you are going to the uh, root of the cherry picking, and for window dressing and SDG washing, so basically you are just contributing the positive side of the SDG, which is uh, product and services and investment, but not in the risk and negative part of the, uh, the concept. But if you have uh, the priority, so then this you need to craft a kind of the SDG a strategy uh, for the company. So you can you can change the uh, company in a way that okay you need to first engage. Uh, so engagement, evolution, and execution are uh, are three steps that should be in the in your uh, procedures to implementing of SDG and uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you are familiar with the materiality and assessment I will talk a little bit about materiality assessment but this materiality assessment is quite familiar I mean quite common in uh, ESG in the uh, reporting to the investor so they are really familiar with the materiality matrix so what it also applies for SDG 9 and other SDG is that so you are talking about the feed uh, materiality and then identify and recruit the relevant stakeholders and uh, try to assess the materiality. What is materiality? Basically is the most important aspects that you cannot leave out uh, to your users, to your stakeholders. And if you cannot leave out, so basically they are going to be important for your business and also your stakeholders. And you need to understand what's going on in this materiality related to the particular SDG. And then starting dialogue with the stakeholders, with your uh, companies. And uh, then aggregate data, ensure, and uh, maybe you have external uh, auditor to, or risk assessor to see what kind of the risk is seen in your uh, business action. And then assurance, uh, uh, assurance statement, and then reporting and localizing to the stakeholders that are relevant in the local area. So, so we can start with the materiality because it's historically is not in the SDG. So historically, is a, uh, the materiality analysis and materiality assessment in financial reporting. If you ask a content company, okay, they can say, okay, materiality is a cutoff point from which that you cannot uh, leave out the information or leave out the uh, you misstate what is influence user decision. 
So this is a basically cut-off point and that is really important for uh, companies of financial point of view to know what are the materials in terms of finan finance, a financial point of view. But when we are talking about non-financial issues, particularly sustainability and SDG 9, so then, uh, so then we, you need to understand what are the material issues related to the SDG particular 9 and who are the main users. It can be investors who are uh, basically uh, the funders of their uh, business and regulators, maybe you will uh, stock uh, based if you have a high tech technology that you cannot uh, launch it to the market because of some rules and uh, some other stakeholders. But then goes to materiality and assessment. In materiality assessment, basically, we have an inventory of material issues, which are the invent basically you, you the, the, uh, the kind of the information that you cannot leave out and then the kind of information that uh, you are uh, obliged to fulfill is the material issues for SDG 9. So the material issues can be under the targets uh, and then these material issues, you need to take care of the material issues in order to be able to report it and then follow and analyze it. For, uh, for instance, in uh, target number one, so kind of develop a quality, reliable, sustainable and resilience infrastructures, we have uh, economic value as a material issues, infrastructure inf investment and access to infrastructures and infrastructure stability. So it's important to uh, also not bounded to material issues that is stated by UN or other uh, reporting system, but also you can also bring up that material issues under the specific target that is important for your company. And then that's a starting point because if you look at the SDG, uh, a particular SDG 9, you have a goal, then you have some targets, then it comes some material issues or let's say uh, business team uh, under the targets and then out of this business team you will you have some disclosure and then you are supposed to as a company disclose what you are doing to do uh, to the investor and then based on that so you need to go from the top to down uh, step by step and then when you have the material issues uh, you can have an inventory of material issues which is an issue related to either a stakeholder uh, or either to your business. So then it's kind of, kind of the, uh, your choice to see what's, uh, what's the importance of this relative importance of the particular issue to a stakeholder in investment is going to be in the materiality matrix. So once you have the point that, okay, for instance, the, uh, in particular case of the SDG 9, uh, the greenhouse gas emission is kind of the things that is one of the targets looking at. So if you have an energy company, so then the cut, uh, the uh, reduction of the emission is important for your company to fulfill the SDG number 9. So you need to see who are the stakeholders of the company, are the stakeholders are only users and also only uh, 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 investors or other users also the crowd in front of your plant that uh, they are against the air pollution that is happened because of your emission. So if you are going to apply all the stakeholders uh, in the one goal, so then you, you need to have a different type of materiality matrix uh, per stakeholders and then combine it as a one materiality matrix. And then you have the inventory, you can formulate the question and then uh, kind of the talking and start dialogue with the, your stakeholders in order to analyze the data and summarize the materiality matrix. Why? Because you need to, at the end, be under the materiality, you need to disclose what you, what we are, we are going to do uh, and uh, report it to uh, either investors or your shareholder or uh, yeah, stakeholders or shareholders. Yeah, if you have a big shareholder, so it's a, if it's public, to public. So this is a, so if you can see, for instance, in number nine four, uh, the uh, gas, uh, greenhouse gas emission, intensity and emission is a, and air pollution are the ones that is uh, really uh, uh, focused on uh, from the UN side. So what I'm going to follow up, uh, I'm, I, I ch I've chosen 
one of these, which is the uh, greenhouse gas emission, for the further talk about SDG, and uh, look at the how, if, if we say that this is a priority for our company, my company has a priority of the greenhouse gas emission, so then how we can uh, disclose uh, the uh, stuff related to that.